Hi everyone. Today we are going to study one another protocol of the data link layer that is go back in ARQ. In this protocol or in this method, many frames can be transmitted during the process of transmission without waiting for the acknowledgement. So unlike in the conventional uh, ARQ protocol, the stop and wait ARQ protocol that we studied earlier, where after uh, each frame that was sent, the sender waited for an acknowledgement before it could send a new frame. Here you do not have to wait after every frame for an acknowledgement. That means you can collectively send many frames one by one during the process of transmission without waiting for the acknowledgement of each and every individual frame. This protocol tries to overcome the inefficient transmission that occurs in stop and wait ARQ. Now, as I said that in the stop and wait ARQ, you have to wait for the acknowledgement of every transmitted frame, right? You send a frame, you wait for the acknowledgement. When you get the acknowledgement, only then can you send a new frame and like this. So this way, a lot of bandwidth of uh, the channel is wasted in waiting for the acknowledgement. So here that uh, wastage of the bandwidth is removed in this case. So you overcome the inefficiency uh, that was encountered in case of the stop and wait ARQ. So this inefficient transmission is overcome with the help of the go back in protocol wherein you can transmit multiple frames one by one without waiting for the acknowledgement of each in each individual frame. Now in this method we can send n frames without making the sender wait for acknowledgement. As I said you can send multiple frames one by one. So n here denotes th that number. That n could be any such number like 3 frames, 4 frames, 5 frames, 6 frames. So all together one by one you can send uh, many frames which denotes the, which is denoted by this n. So n basically means 4 frames or 5 frames or 6 frames which can be sent one by one consecutively without waiting for the acknowledgement of every frame that has been sent. At the same time the sender must keep or maintain a copy of each frame sent until the acknowledgement reaches safely. Though the sender is sending multiple frames one by one without waiting for the acknowledgement of each individual frame separately, but still the sender keeps a copy of all the frames that have been sent to be on the safe side. So that just in case it does not receive the acknowledgement of any frame, it can resend those frames. So to be on the safe side, it maintains a copy of all the sent frames so that when required, it can retransmit those frames. Now, like this stop and wait, protocol like this like the stop and wait ARQ protocol here also sequence numbers are used for transmission and receipt of frames so just like uh, in the stop and wait protocols the sequence numbers were attached to the frames in so that the receiver could identify whether it was receiving an original frame or a duplicate frame here also sequence numbers are uh, used for the transmission and receipt of the frames. So sequence numbers basically are unique numbers which are assigned to every frame. Each frame has a different sequence number and if two frames have the same sequence number the receiver can know that this is a duplicate frame because no different frames can have the same sequence number. Each frame will have a sequence number that, that will be added with the frame. So the sequence number will be added to the header of the frame before that frame is transmitted. If the frame can have k bit sequence number, then the numbers will range between 0 to 2 to the power k minus 1. So how many bits are allowed in the sequence number field of the frame, right? So how many bits do you reserve for the sequence number? field of the frame if it is a k bit sequence number k again could be any number like 2 3 1 4 so a, for a k bit sequence number the number of frames that you can send at any given point of time 
will range between 0 to the power 2 to the power k minus 1, right? So just if, if I take the example that k is 2, that means 2 bits are allowed in the sequence number field. k bit, here it is 2 bit. If the value of k is 2, that means you are allowing 2 bit sequence numbers in the sequence number field. Or in other words, 2 bits are reserved for the sequence number. That means the sequence number can be of 2 bits. Then how many frames at most at one time can you send? Then you can send 0, 1, 2, 3. That is in total how many frames? In that case, you can send 4 frames one by one without waiting for the acknowledgement. Right? So, if 2 is this, uh, 2 bits are there for the sequence number. So, the number of frames that you can send together uh, the number of uh, frames that you can send consecutively one by one without waiting for the acknowledgement will range between 0 to, two, um, to the power 2 to the power k minus 1. So 2 to the power k minus 1 if 2 bits are for the sequence number that means 2 to the power 2 minus 1 which gives you 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3. That means the frames number of frames that you can send will be will range from 0 to 3. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So that means how many frames? 1, 2, 3, 4. So when uh, you can send 4 frames without waiting for the acknowledgement when 2 bits are allowed in the sequence number field of the frames. So here as you saw the sender can send 4 frames continuously without waiting for the acknowledgement. But the receiver will look forward only to 1 frame and that must be in order. Of course, you can send multiple frames one by one or at the same time, but the receiver will look forward to only one frame. The receiver at a time can process only one frame. Though you are sending four frames together, but the receiver cannot process the four frames all together. So at any point of time, the receiver will look forward to only one frame and that too must be in order. In order means sequence number 1 frame should be received first, sequence number 2 frame should be received after that, sequence number 3 frame should be received after that and so on. So this is called in order delivery of frames. If the frames are not in the proper order, that means they were transmitted obviously in the proper order but they are not received in the proper order then they are called out of order. So out of order means frame number 1 was received first and then frame number 3 was received though actually frame number 2 must have been received before frame number 3. So when you receive all the frames in the proper order in which they were transmitted they are it is said to be an in order delivery and when these frames arrive out of order that means not in the same order in which they were sent th that is known as out of order delivery. So at any given point of time even if you are sending four frames all together the receiver will not receive and process all those four frames together. So the receiver at any given point of time can process only one frame at a time. So that means it will look forward to only one frame and that too must be in order. Now if the frame received is not in order that means if it is out of order it will simply this receiver will simply keep on discarding the frames till it receives the desired sequence number frame right. So the frame will accept only that uh, sorry, the receiver will accept only that frame that it was expecting and if it receives any other frame, it will discard that frame and it will keep on doing that until it receives the desired sequence number frame. So if for example, receiver has received frame with sequence number 1, so the next frame that it will be expecting now is frame with sequence number 2. So if it receives a frame with sequence number 2 now, it will accept it. But if it receives a frame with sequence number 3, it will discard it. Then it will again wait for frame with sequence number 2. Right? So this process keeps on repeating until it receives the desired frame with the uh, desired sequence number. So the receiver is not bound to send an individual acknowledgement all for all the frames received. It can send a cumulative acknowledgement also. So there are two ways for sending the acknowledgement at the receiver's end. Either the uh, uh, receiver res uh, sends uh, uh, an individual acknowledgement for each frame received or it may send a cumulative acknowledgement for all the four frames that have been received. 
the receiver sends a positive acknowledgement if the received frame is the desired sequence number frame right so the receiver has received a frame but if it is not the desired sequence number it will not send an acknowledgement for that so a receiver sends a positive acknowledgement only in a case if it receives a proper frame and that too is or is in order that means it is of the desired sequence number frame otherwise what it will do otherwise it will keep on waiting if the frame received is corrupted or out of order so the frame must be without errors and plus it must be in order if any of these two conditions do not meet then the frame will not send the acknowledgement and will keep discarding the received frames so, so the frame should be error free first of all it should not be corrupted and then it should be in order it should not be out of order even if the frame is error free but if it is out of order in that case also the receiver will discard that frame and not accept it and hence then it will not send any acknowledgement for that particular frame now as soon as the timer expires for the frame sent by the sender the sender will go back and retransmit all frames including the frame for which the timer expired till the last sent frame right so obviously the acknowledgement is sent in this case also but not individually collectively or after a certain period of time so say for example four frames have been sent and after that an acknowledgement is received for the three frames say the acknowledgement has been received for frame number 1 2 and 4 but the acknowledgement uh, never came for frame number 3 so in that case the sender will repeat the transmission of all those four frames all over again that will it will that is it will start from frame number 1 till the last sent frame now the last sent frame here in this case was 4 so it will uh, uh, start the retransmission of the frames from frame number 1 to frame number 4 all over again even though the acknowledgements of frame number 1 2 and 4 were received the acknowledgement for which frame was not received for only frame number 3 so ideally the frame number 3 must have been retransmitted but it retransmits all those four frames all over again so this is how uh, this is the working principle of the go back n arq protocol that means the sender will go back from till uh, go back and then retransmit all frames so that is why it is known as go back n arq n arq so if n is 4 that means the four frames have been sent and from among those four frames even if the acknowledgement for one frame has not come then all the four frames all those n frames will be retransmitted hence the name go back n arq so even if the timer for any one frame has expired all those four frames will be retransmitted all over again that is why it is named as the go back n arq you go back and retransmit those n frames all over again Now, if the error rate is high, then this leads to a lot of wastage of bandwidth. You are unnecessarily retransmitting all those frames which were for which the acknowledgement was received. So there is no point retransmitting those frames all over again. What you are doing in that case, you are wasting the bandwidth because in that uh, you could have transmitted using that bandwidth some new frames, but you are retransmitting those frames also which have for which the acknowledgement have been received. So sender will retransmit all the frames. from the frame in which error appears till the last sent frame right the frame in which error had appeared from that particular frame to the last sent frame all the frames will be sent all over again so this is clearly a wastage of the bandwidth so to increase the efficiency of transmission when the error rate is high see when the error rate is low it is still affordable you can still afford such retransmissions but when the error rate is very high in every possible transmission you are having errors so then retransmitting all the frames from the frame in which error had occurred till the last sent frames doing such retransmissions is really a big wastage of the bandwidth and is an inefficient way of retransmitting data so to increase the efficiency of transmission when the error rate is high especially another protocol is used which is called selective repeat arq right and this protocol known as the selective repeat arq we will discuss in the next video